Let's learn 3D anatomy of eye. If we see from the frontal aspect of the eye, we have outermost layer called sclera. Sclera is opaque, fibrous and protective covering that contains many collagen fibers. Sclera is also known as white of the eye. In the development of embryo, sclera is derived from neural crest. In the center of sclera, we have the transparent front part of the eye that covers iris, pupil and anterior chamber which is called the cornea. The cornea with anterior chamber and lens reflects light. In humans, the refractive power of the cornea is approximately 43 diopter. If we remove cornea, then we have a circular structure in the eye called iris. Iris is responsible for controlling the diameter and size of pupil. Eye color is defined by that of iris. In the optical terminology, iris is the diaphragm of eye. If we remove iris, here you can see the removal of iris. Behind the iris, we have pupillary dilator muscle. Pupillary dilator muscle is the smooth muscles of the eye running radially in the iris and therefore fit as dilator. It consists of modified contractile cells, spoke-like arrangement called myoepithelial cells. These cells are stimulated by sympathetic nervous system. On stimulation, these cells contract widening the pupil and allowing for more light to pass through the eye. If we remove pupillary dilator, then we have a transparent biconvex structure in the eye that is called lens. Along with cornea, lens help to refract light to be focused on retina. The adjustment of lens is known as accommodation. The lens by changing shape functions to change the focal distance of the eye so that it can focus on object at various distance, thus allowing a sharp real image of the object. If we remove the lens, then we have a hole located in the center of the iris called pupil. Pupil allows light to strike the retina. Pupil appears black because light rays enter, entering the pupil are either absorbed by the tissues inside the eye directly or absorbed after diffuse reflection within the eye. In human beings, pupil is circular in shape. We have removed this part. That is why this, pu this pupil seems different in shape. But in real, pupil is circular in its shape. Now if we remove sclera, then we have 
a vascular layer of eye it contains connective tissues and lying between the retina and sclera if we remove choroid then we have third and inner coat of eye called retina retina is light sensitive layer of tissue light is striking the retina initiate a ca cascade of chemical and electrical events that ultimately triggers nerve impulses if we remove retina then we have clear gel that fills space between the lens and the retina of eyeball the vitreous humor is transparent colorless and gelatinous mass the vitreous humor is in contact with retina vitreous humor makes up 4 5th of the volume of the eyeball now we have ring of smooth muscles called ciliary muscles ciliary muscle control accommodation for viewing objects at varying different distances it changes the shape of the lens within the eye behind the ciliary muscles we have ciliary processes ciliary processes are formed by the inward folding of the various layer of choroid now we have some muscles that control the movement of eye first we have superior oblique muscle depresses and internally rotate the eye on lateral side of the eye we have lateral rectus muscle it is also extra ocular muscle lateral rectus muscle is responsible for lateral movement of eyeball especially abduction on the medial side of the eye we have medial rectus muscle it is also ocul extra ocular muscle innervated by oculomotor nerve it is responsible for adduction of eyeball it functions to bring the pupil closer to the midline of the body if we see from the inferior aspect of the eye then we have inferior rectus muscle it is responsible to depress and adduct the eye now here we have optic nerve optic nerve is second cranial nerve that transmit visual information from the retina to brain it extends from the optic disc to the optic chiasma and continues as optic tract to the lateral geniculate nucleus pretectal nuclei and superior colliculus the optic nerve is derived from optic stalk during the 7th week of development now we have a tendinous ring that surrounds the optic nerve it is the common origin of four rectus muscles or extra ocular muscles so it was all about anatomy of eye hope you like the video thank you